What is happening, everyone? Here's Quasar here. Welcome to my garage, Quasar's Customs. We're doing some movie cars. I mean, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we are doing the movie Speed. Yes, Speed with Keanu Reeves and America's Sweetheart, Sandra Bullock. What can I say? I This is a movie that I've seen several times, and I actually super enjoy this, this movie, right? And... Um, I had to actually take a look to see what color this puppy was and how long it was in. Um, I, I had to do a little bit of research onto this, this vehicle because I didn't, I don't have the lights, right? right? Um, so I had to, you know, take a look to see what I needed to do with this, actually. Uh, before I jumped into this, before I jumped into this altogether and uh, made a fool of myself. But anyway, um, this is a Ford Bronco, Keanu Reeves. Uh, Drives in the movie and actually chases down the bus um, that Sandra Bullock is on. Um, I did, you know, after uh, when I got this, I was super excited about getting it, right? Because of the speed. Then I realized uh, Dead Bob updated it. He updated it back, I believe, back in February, I believe it was. So i i updated it and it, it it wrecked it it actually wrecked it so then i had to go in and actually find the mod once again so uh <laughs> so I, this has been a long time in the making trying to get this this particular mod into my garage uh serious serious as a heart attack so you know just the way it is i guess so, what's the movie about? Uh, the movie is about uh, Keanu Reeves is like a SWAT agent, and um, he he and his partner Foil, um, uh, Dennis Hopper plays in it. Dennis Hopper, I believe Dennis Hopper was like an ex ex cop or something. Foil's Dennis Hopper's uh, attempt to uh, he kidnap or basically had. Um, held hostage, held these people for hostage in a, an elevator, and Keanu Reeves, and oh my God, well who was his partner? His partner, what was his partner? Um, dang, I, I I can see his face, I just can't. Okay, who is who is? Let me let me take a look at the. Jeff Daniels, Jeff Daniels, because I think it was another another dude, but yeah, it was Jeff Daniels, right? So Jeff Daniels is his is his partner in crime in this, and um, he's the one <laughs> he's the one in it that uh, is his part. Well, is his partner and it foils foils Dennis Hopper's uh, plan for these these hostages, right? So. So he foils his plan, so now Dennis Hopper's out to get revenge, right? So he basically plants this bu this bomb on this city bus. And I think actually one bus actually gets blown up. Just to prove that, you know, he's he's not he's not playing around, right? So he blows up one city bus, so he's got another city bus he's out he's got bombs on. Um so this other bus is the one Sandra Pullick is on, so Bottom line is Keanu Reeves chased down, chases down this bus in his Bronco, gets on the bus, and figures out that there's a, a bomb on this bus, and, you, and they can't, they cannot put the bus under, they can't drive it under 55 or 50. I don't remember which. I think it was 50. They can't drive it under 50 miles an hour, otherwise it will blow up. And they're trying to figure out how Dennis Hopper can see everything that's going on on the bus. So that's that's what it is. So some cool stuff there uh I, i'm sitting here talking and just jibber jabbing and <laughs> i'm not paying attention to what i'm doing here okay you bolt you bolt a couple of those couple of shocks small bushings and a drive axle there we go we'll take care of the back and then we'll get into let's see we've got a fuel tank going on here so yeah, uh, Dead Bob updated this mod back in February, I believe, and it totally wrecked what I had in in my in my files. So 
I had to find it all over again. But the beauty thing is, is that did Bob actually put together some awesome, um, some awesome uh, versions of this Bronco. So you need to go over and get this now because the, this Bronco is cool. And especially now because, uh, I mean, really, the Bronco is making its way back, right? I know I'm, I'm not that much of a Ford fan, but I'm, a Bron I'm, I'm a this type of Bronco fan right here. I love these things. You can take the whole top off. It was much like the Chevrolet uh, Blazers, the old 75-ish Blazers, I think it was. You could take the whole top off. I Two doors. I love those things. Loved them. Um, they just don't make them like that anymore. You know what I mean? They're great, great vehicles, in, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. We need to get a U-bolt here and get a couple of those. So yeah, so that is what the the gist of the movie is all about. So some neat things that I did read about the movie. One, Keanu Reeves did do about 90% of his stunts as I have read. So that's kind of cool. Um, something else that I had seen, I think I had either I had seen or I had uh, red I'm not sure which to be honest with you um, they both had a crush on each other and didn't know it bottom line Sandra Bullock had a crush on Keanu Reeves Keanu Reeves had a crush on Sandra Bullock neither one of them knew they had a crush on each other <laughs> how do you how do you do that how do you do that Sandra Bullock is like a sweetheart she is just awesome I I, I love most I, I'll say most for movies because Miss Congeniality 2 um, wasn't that great. <laughs> but I do like most of her movies. Like the, the Blind Side about the football player. That is just a very heartwarming story and she does such an awesome job in that in that movie. It's it's just unreal. And um, not knowing um, Tim McGraw, country western singer, was in the movie as well as her husband. I was like, that's, that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, I, I call her America's sweetheart because she just she's just got that innocent look. Um, she was married to uh, what's his name, a dude from Monster Garage. What is his name? Uh, Jesse James. She was married to Jesse James of all people. Je Jesse James. I, I I just could not see her with him. But I guess she liked a little, you know a little bit of the bad boy, the old tatted up, tatted up uh, bad boy kind of guy. Jesse James was that guy. That ha he had a, a television show called uh, Monster Garage. And what they would do is they'd take these vehicles and make them into something something strange, right? Um, there was uh, one, I think they took a limo and put like a, a, a helicopter machine gun into it. Um, there was another one. They made this truck into a... I think it was a pecan tree shaker is what it was um <laughs> just ridiculous stuff like that right it's just that's the kind of stuff that they would do and i used to watch that all the time it was almost like the cars they would make they would make transformers for real they would make transformers out of these things so um <laughs> i loved it i really did uh, okay here um, we're just gonna do this I'm gonna go ahead and do the suspension up on this because uh, I not exactly sure the wheels I'm gonna put on this I think I have an idea it's really tough for me to tell though so I'm gonna have to play around with it uh, when I do it will be a square setup so I'm just gonna do them all four of them at the same time so I figure I'm not so great just get the, the suspension uh, clear it up on here, and then uh, we'll do wheels and tires all in one shot. What do you say? So yeah, a few things about uh, the movie. Like I said, Keanu Reeves did 90% of his stunts in the movie. Uh, Sandra Bullock. Uh, there's a scene where she's like faked out her chewing gum on the seat to get away from the one guy. Um, that was all ad lib by her. That, that's you know, and that's that's something cool. I, I love it when actors ad lib and they keep it in the movie. Uh, another piece that was wasn't really ad lib; it was an accident. Keanu Reeves breaks the glass on the bus. That was done by accident. 
right? And they kept it in the movie. That's the kind of stuff that's really, really cool. Um, I, I love that stuff. I love, I love reading that stuff that where the actors had ad libbed something and the director was like, you know what, this fits the movie. We're keeping it. Uh, really makes it, it makes the movie a little more genuine and really makes it, uh, makes it their own. You know what I mean? So let's see, what else did I read about that? Um, ooh, Sandra Bullock. You know, I'm not a Sandra Bullock fan by no means, right? <laughs> um, she learned how to drive the bus. She actually learned how to drive one of those buses, and she passed her test the first time around. Isn't that awesome? I like that. She learned how to drive that bus. That is super cool. Oh, Sandra, where are you these days? I'd love to meet you in person. You just look—you just seem like a very fun person. You know, oh, that didn't sound good. You know, and that's something else too. You think, um, you see these people, and you imagine them, you know, in the movies, how they are in real life. You know, you you think that you know they are how they are, and really they're not. Um, for the most part, they're not anyway. But uh, I would love to. I'd love to know how she is in real life. I, I really would. Um, okay, so for the brakes here, we got uh, a couple of drums here, a cylinder there, uh, front shock absorbers, Ooh, leaf springs are in bad shape. Only one U bolt. That's okay. Um, yeah. That's not too bad. Not too, too bad at all. Not too, too bad at all. All right, uh, break out the shopping list. Let's go, boys. Brakes, drums, drum, drum, drum. And a wheel cylinder. I've had to replace a few of those in my day. How about you guys? Uh, front shock absorber. B, do those. Uh, yep. They're not always that fun. That's true. It's just not that fun. Uh, leaf springs, yeah, I need both those and a plate, a U-bolt, outer tie rods, and small bushings. That's all I need, really? This 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 beast of a Bronco actually looked like it was in much worse shape than what it was, I guess. Holy cow! All right, that, that works for me. Um, let me dump off all these excessive parts here real quick. Oh. Soft parts. Yeah, that's fine. That way I have nothing but new parts to work with in here. Let's see, I was trying to think of some other things I had read about the movie. Oh, the haircut. They wanted they wanted Keanu Reeves to get a shorter haircut, right? So he looked more like a professional SWAT guy. Um, and he got a buzz cut for it. They didn't they didn't like it <laughs> they didn't like it and they were going to like halt production on the movie until his hair grew out no lie it's like you gotta be kidding me it works for him it works for him in the movie um him and jeff daniels jeff daniels both worked with swat teams so that they you know kind of uh, portrayed their part a little more realistically so that's kind of cool Oh, there's probably a, a lot more fascinating uh, uh, trivia about this movie, but I tell you what, there's it. It's cool to um, read some of this stuff because, like I said, it's always it was it's always cool to know that the actors improvised on something and they kept it in the script. Uh, Fast and the Furious. If you thought back in the Fast and the Furious. I don't know which one it is. I want to say six, maybe. I think maybe it was six, where um, Hobbs—they're all at uh, at Toretto's place, right? And Hobbs comes in, and uh, oh, I Tyrese Gibson says something, and and Ludacris spits out his spits out his drink. That happened in real life. That wasn't an act. It was so funny that Ludacris spit that stuff out. Um, they kept it in the movie. So it's that's, that's the stuff that I love reading about. 
I love knowing about too. It's just, it's, it's just cool. I, I like it. I don't, I don't know why. Just, call it, I'm, I'm a quirk, I guess. It gets, I'm quirky. It's all good. Um, did I not put? I didn't put a bushing on the other side. How oh, dare I? Okay, let me get that. I think I got everything. All right, let's go ahead and take this. Is this? Oh, this has got a starter on it. Holy cow! You know how many pieces of junk I pull out of the junkyard, and they do not have a starter, let alone most of the engine. But that's all right. All this is coming out and going to be trashed anyway. I think I've got everything underneath here. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and yank the motor out of here. I wish I had. Do I have? Let's go ahead and send the welder over there. Um, we're doing all this. I don't know if I've got. Do I have in my warehouse? Uh, let's see, blocks. Do I have a fully built V8? I've got a two carb. <gasps> I do have a one carb. I have a one carb. All right, guess what I'm taking? <laughs> no, I don't want to sell it. No. I'm. Yeah, baby. I've already got one built up. I'm going to stick that right in there instead of trying to do all this. This is going to be a short one. Ah, uh, drain the oil. Ah, oh, drat. You have oil in this too? Wow. Now that's a first. That is a first. The oil doesn't look that bad in it either. Okay, so you're out of here. Alright, we're going to clean up the body. Clean up the interior. We're going to yank the motor out. <laughs> Let me put the motor back in. What we got here? Let's see, what is this? Is this a custom one or is this a... Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, this one doesn't have all the performance parts, but I think we can... Well, it does have some performance parts. It's got... It's got some. All right. Yeah, it does. It's kind of looking stock with some performance parts. I think I like that. I, I think I'm going to keep that in there. I don't know when I built that thing. Happy I got it, though. Holy cow. Quick and easy, down and dirty. Um, you know, I will build a motor every now and again and throw it in there throw it in there just so I have it right I thought this one was actually going to take me a little bit longer to build I mean I could build a motor for it right in fr right in front of your eyes but I mean why if I got a spare one over there that's good so we'll get dump that out um, brake servo uh, we need a new starter aren't we all right uh, brake servo ah, okay um Starter. Uh, brake servo. I think I have battery. Yep. Radiator's in good shape. All right, so we got all that. Um, Go ahead and put some oil on this bad boy. Yeah, I'm going to keep it kind of looking stock because the color of this thing, like, the color of this thing is like a silver, right? Um, so I'm going to have to take some of this stuff off. Let's see, what else was I going to do with this? Uh, for the starter. Oh, let me go get the transmission for it. We'll get a transmission. Um, I get transmission, and I think I need a gearbox, but I don't think, uh, what drive shaft do I need? I need one of these drive shafts, I don't know which one it is. Not fond of that color either. Alrighty. Put the gearbox all together.
Yeah, you can see I kind of cheated this out a little bit because I had an engine stashed. Uh, it's just by pure luck I had one over there because if I hadn't one, if I didn't have one, I would have, I would have built one. So, Let's see, front exhaust pipe, middle muffler, rear muffler. So I don't believe the C's are part of the equation. Nope. Did not think so, but we'll get two of the middles, two of the rears, while we're here, right, and we'll jump over to the other place, get the C's, throw those on, you know what, I should have, I should have, uh, crap, C's, right? Nope, just regular front exhaust pipe. Damn! Okay. And I need front drive shaft F. So front drive shaft F. And these are just normal, but I think I can get those from the. I can get these here. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to grab a couple of those. Um, let's get front drive shaft F. Then I should be finished up with the entire underneath of this vehicle. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got a full, full on out exhaust system on this bad boy. That's cool. Uh, all right, full exhaust system underneath. All right, wheels and tires. Should we do the wheels and tires? Or should we just go ahead and get the body work done on this bad boy? Uh, Any other pieces on the front fenders? Good. We're just gonna go all out here. All right, do I have everything? I've got everything off it. Stripped down to almost nothing, how about that? Uh, uh, I'm debating on repairing parts or just, uh, I think I'm just going to I'm trash all these out and just go buy all new. Yep. I'm going to go all buy new. So I'll jump over here. Going to the fresh imports. Keanu needs his Bronco to be in top notch condition. So let's put it in top notch condition. <sighs> oh, look at all these parts. Oh man, I could put tinted windows in them too. Oof. Um, wow. Um, Dang, a lot of a lot of good pieces. Uh, um, yeah, I guess we'll go tinted. Um, tinted cover, uh, regular front bumper on it, clamshell, regular front end on it, regular door, regular fender, regular door. Regular fender. We're going to keep the tinted ones. We're going to keep that tinted all the way around. Regular door. Um, do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, I think we go with these mirrors here. Regular tail light. Regular tail light. Uh, we'll go with the back tinted. How that? Uh, I don't know if I need that or not, but I'm gonna grab that. Uh, left door. I think I'm gonna need that. Uh, roll bar, mirror, tail light. 
trunk. I think I've got everything. I may have missed something, but we'll see here in a second here. Uh, tail light. All right. Rear bumper. Trunk. Oh, I don't have that. Uh, left door. Clamshell tinted. All right. Got this tail light. Okay, door. Tinted windows. I went tinted windows because I just like the tinted windows. His weren't tinted, of course, but uh, I like the idea of them being tinted. Clamshell, headlight, grill, bumper, headlight. His had a set of, of lights on the top, too, that I don't have on this one. All right, so I can, I gotta get in there, right, rear right door, so rear right door, huh? Rear, rear right door. And rear right fender, rear right door, gotcha. Okay, we'll get that too. Okay, so we should have that. Awesome. And then we should be able to get, yeah, we'll get that in there. That is awesome. All right, all right, all right. I think we have everything. Um, let's see if the body's 100%. Is the body 100%? Global body, 88%. What are we missing here? The seats. All right. Uh, seat nine. So I'm going to look for seat nine. Leather seat nine. Uh, seat nine. Nine? No, that's eleven, ten, two, five, six, eight, nine. So these are nines. All right, we're going to go with the regular D type, and the steering wheel is a typical. Uh, older steering wheel so it's going to be i think i'm going to go with the cape steering wheel i think that's what's in it actually yep yeah, it's a cape steering wheel so get the seats in it that's golden that's golden right all right um wheels we definitely need some wheels on this so um interior trim Hmm. Don't see. Maybe I don't need it on this. Not sure. All right. Anyway, um, rims and tires. What do we have? What size is this? These are 15s. Uh, maybe we'll go 16s on it. Because what I'm think I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the. Uh, I'm gonna go with the the Bowens, the four Bowens. So we're gonna go for these at 16. All right. Um, what are the size tires on this? I do want to go a little wider. So it's 190.80s. 190.80s, huh? Holy cow. Uh, 190.80s with a standard tire. Four 16. We'll go 205. We'll go 70 series. All right, let's see what this looks like. This is going to be, this is like a, a crap shoot, to be honest with you, to see how tall these tires are going to be. You know, I hate those tires right off the bat. I think they're freaking ugly. They're freaking ugly. Yeah, no, that's not happening. That is not happening. So... <laughs> Um, let's go with, um, let's try a race tire, go four, we'll go two of five, and 70 looked pretty big, so we'll go with the 65 profile. Whew, yeah, that is some ugly looking, that's some ugly looking tires there. Uh, two of five, 70, 
Standard tires. Now we want the race tires. Those look a little bit better. Those look a little better. Let's get rid of these. These, whew, man, these standard tires look freaking awful. Holy cow! I can't believe how bad they look. Um, yeah, these are going to have to do because I mean this is uh, this is pretty much a primarily stock Bronco that he drives. So there's nothing really special about it. I don't have like really cool wheels. He had standard wheels on it. So, you know, nothing I can do about that. That's just the way it is. Uh, okay, so let's see how the 16s look on here. They don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. The race tire looks a little bit better. Definitely. Definitely looks a little bit better. So... Get a visual on this side. Yeah, okay, that'll work. I know it's kind of plain looking. I mean, because I'm telling you what, if I had one of these, if I had one of these, these would be this would be a very cool vehicle for me to have. I, I would love to have one of these. Um, nope, don't have any left. So we'll get these we'll get these all squared up. Then we'll send her over to the paint booth. I think that's all I need. I need to put the uh, plates on it. Um, California plates. I believe it was in California. Check here in a second. All right, let's uh, drop her down on the ground here. Um, I mean, I believe they were California plates, but they were. Uh, all right, let's see what they have here. They're actually blue, blue field with gold letters. I don't think we have anything like that. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, we'll go with the white plates anyway. And I believe the license plate number is what is it? Six four six. Six four six Tez T E Z. No idea what that stands for, but hey, it works, right? Um. Yep, it goes right there. And the front. It shows it down there, but I think, like in the movie, I think it was, um, dang, I thought it was like up in the grill somewhere. So, not exactly the way it should be as far as a movie car goes, but hey, uh, are we 100%? Nope, global body's still at 96%. What am I missing? Engine cover. It's still on there, so I don't know where it's at. Where is the engine cover at? Engine cover, huh? Okay, so we'll go... Um, where is the engine cover? Let's move this back over here to the, uh, let's move this back over here. Let's open up the inside here. Is there anything? What is the engine cover? Boy, oh boy, I wonder, I, I should have had this all taken, when I had this all taken apart, I should have tried to figure out where the engine cover piece is.
I would think it would be in here if it was an engine cover, but maybe not. I can't even find a rusty piece. Okay, so... Uh, let's look at my inventory. I've got engine cover. Do I have an engine cover? Engine cover... One engine cover. It says interior trim is the engine cover. So, I don't see anything where it says interior trim at all for me. Ha! Huh. Now, how do I get it? It's the radio. That's what it is. Okay, so how do I get at the radio? Ha ha. There we go. That's what we're looking for. There we go. There we go. Now we should be 100%, right? Yes! Alright. That is cool. There we have it. Alright, let's take you send you over to the paint booth shall we now with this one i couldn't tell pictures i don't remember seeing the movie um i don't remember the color of this from the movie let's put this together the right way there we go um i think it is almost a light gray <sighs> um so we are going to go A light gray. I think it's a silvery. And I even thought the top was maybe a white. But I don't think so. I think the whole thing was painted gray. Let's send this back out here. Let's take a look at it in the shop. Because the lighting out here is a whole lot different than the lighting in there. Um, probably could stand to be a little bit lighter. I think we're going to be fine for now. Let's see what kind of see what kind of power we can throw down. Oh yeah, see I got an F100 over here. This is going to be a uh, one of the two that I've already done. Um, last Action Hero or Last Man Standing uh, Ford F100. I haven't decided which one yet, but this is going to replace them because this bad boy has less than 150,000 miles on it, and I was very happy to find that. Um, so we will find out which one that is eventually um i don't think it really matters because i do have two of them and it's both of them are going to get replaced anyway so oh there you go 443 horsepower 579 pounds of torque not too shabby i guess with a 78 79 percent gain Pretty awesome. All right, there we have it. The Ford Bronco from Speed. Like I said, I don't have the lights uh, for the top part. It's probably about the only piece I'm missing on the lights along the top. That would have been nice. And I want to thank uh, Philip Barubi. Mr. Barubi is the one who has suggested the Bronco from Speed. So, shouts out to him. All right, there you go. There we have it. The Ford Bronco. I, I enjoy these these little trucks. Uh, now that I've seen it, they've you know they've come out with a newer style version of them. Um, I can't wait to see them in person. I think they look pretty cool. So there you have it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm looking to try to get a thousand subscribers by the end of December. So I've only got a couple months, and I'm a couple hundred behind. But that's okay. I'm going to keep trucking right along. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. If you're wanting to be notified every time I do do an upload, 
please by all means hit the subscription button or the uh, hit the notify button that way you'll you'll be notified all right until later peace everyone thanks for watching have a good night first quasar saying good night i am out